Hi everyone, my name is uh, Jack Nagai. I'm from the Kimberleys. Um, my, connect my connection uh, throughout uh, in the Kimberleys uh, from both sides of my family, my mother and my father's side. On my mom's side, I got born over in Wolmijari and a bit of an Indian mix as well through Bunaba. And my grandma, she's from, on my mom's side, she's from the Canning Stock Road. My grandfather is a Bunaba man, which we've got connection to with Um and, and how do you feel about doing the um, artists and resident program at Fish Jack? Uh, it's pretty good. Um, it's awesome. Um, it's it's good that I caught up with a lot of people, and it's good to be here. Um, normally, people get to talk to the the, the the other person, but it's good to be talking to the main person who does all this art. And uh, this is probably my third third day here as a, as an artist and resident at Fish. And will you be here on the weekend? I'll be here on the weekend and the next coming weeks, yeah, I'll, I'll be available and I'll be here if you want to come on, come on down and ask me some questions. So tell us a little bit about this piece of artwork that you've been working on today. This one is, I'm just doing my abstract um, style of art for Bunga Bunga. Bunga Bunga is, I've got a bit of connection through my father's side. My father got a Giga connection and also a Jaro. And, uh, and uh, another tribe that's near or from the territory, um, it's called Wanajira. But dad grew up in this area, worked as a young man, and he was raised by, by the old bloke by the name of Jandeng. And Jandeng, he's like a, my grandma's um, brother, so he's like a, like a Oji from, from Gija side. And um, Oji Jandeng done a lot, lot for him. He, he took him to initiation and, and taught him a lot of, and I talk to him about a lot about this country and I I enjoy doing this because it, I share the stories what the old people told my dad and, and I still got three old people still left but I still share my story with them and I've still got old, old Daddy Carrington, that's my another grandma, still alive and another old father by the name of Patrick Mung, who's my brother, um, through, through Skinway. But he told me about Bangal Bangal, how, uh, how it came to be with the two flying fox dreaming. And it, it, they took a, there was a big battle in the dream time and they fought under, under the ground and up in the sky. But when they were fighting deep in the ground, they started pushing up all these rocks and it started, and it, it started to shape, shape of the, the Bangal Bangal. Um, Bangabong was the name that white man gave it, but um, the Kija name for it is Punululu. So I'm halfway through it, and tomorrow hopefully you'll get to see the, the um, complete piece. So on Saturday, come on down. Um, we'll see other pieces of artwork that, uh, he, uh, that um, Jack's already done. This is beautiful uh, fish or belly fish. fish one. Yes. And this is just a magnificent piece here. What's this one about, Jack? That's my grandma and my dad's birthplace. It's in the Northern Territory. So this is one from the Northern Territory? The uh, white men call it Inbuwe Satan, but in our native language, in Wanajira uh, is, is uh, Biningi. And Biningi is uh, another name for ma many water lily. And um, this one here, Jack, you just finished the Paramundi today? Yep, I started on this one a few weeks ago, but I completed it with filling it in with the scales and the fin. Um, this one here yeah, just represents the, the river and the ocean. So it's basically, the Petra River flows down to the ocean. I've added some fish from the ocean and, and barramundi and the stingray from the, from the river. The vines and the leaves that you see, it represents the freshwater mangrove. Um, I kind of I gave this one a title name Kimberley style fishing. Because our old people used to use the leaves to to um, get fish. Especially if there was a big water hole. What we used to do is they they, they sort of had to crush up the box instead of instead of poisoning the fish by doing that the red red bubbles and the red substance that came out of the box made it uh, Made the, it took away the oxygen from the water and 
uh, 10, 20, 30 minutes later, you'd see the fish floating on the surface, gasping for air. And that was a way of doing traditional fishing up in the Kimberley. So don't miss out on um, Jack. He's looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow and uh, telling you a little bit about the artwork, and the artwork's available to sell. As each piece is finished, you can actually come in and buy some of these beautiful pieces of artwork. So come on down tomorrow.